I'm bad. I'm bad. <coughs> okay. Hi guys. So we're in our second week. We've made it through the week-long barrier. And this week, the question posed by Mel. I don't know who'd made Mel in charge. Personally, I believe I should be in charge because, uh, well, <laughs> Mel's gonna be in charge. It's gonna be me. But the question was, what is the bad in me? The best, the bad, and the ick of my university career? I'd say the best thing about coming to university for me, for me, is being funny at who I really am. Which is horribly cliched. And as a matter of fact, I wrote that on my, uh, on my MacBook in Starbucks by sipping on my, uh, Low fat latte. That's a lie, I didn't. I don't drink low fat latte, I have a MacBook. I think I'm the only person on the internet without a MacBook. As soon as you move away from home, you find all these different situations which test you as a human being. So that might be the work you're given, or the friends you make, or the stuff you do outside of your lectures, but that will all test you. I don't mind saying that I came to university as someone with quite moderate Christian values, who never drank, who was quite shy and generally quite a small person. And not to go into details, because as soon as you start discussing God, then the internet gets angry. But I've changed a lot of my outlook on life through the people I've met and the things I've done. And no, I've not turned myself into a raging alcoholic, but I now can and do and will drink. Which is something I personally didn't think I'd be doing. So my advice if you want to experience that is just to let it happen. Let yourself have these experiences, let yourself change, leave yourself open to change and tell yourself it's okay to change part of who you are. You can be proved wrong, because you are wrong and so am I. And that's just fine. Kind of. Piggybacking onto that, the worst thing that's happened to me since university is having to leave something I loved dearly. I don't want to go into too much detail because you guys don't really care and for me it's still a place of pain in my life. And not really a place of pain, that's very dramatic, but you get the point. But last year I realised that I'm not the person I thought I was. I'm not as strong as I thought I was. I couldn't do the things I thought I could do. And that's not a fun realisation to have. But because of that, I feel, like I just said, that I have become a better person. And looking back on it now, I'm glad it happened. But it did mean for about a month of a second year I was in a really bad place. But you can't expect the good without the bad, and I've learnt from it. And looking back on it, it was... for the better? What more can you really ask? Regarding the ick, I haven't really had many experiences that have just been like, Ugh, this is ghosting. I'm not a squirmish person, um, I can't stand vomit, but that's about it. So I'd say the worst thing we had to do was moving into the house that we're in now, in my third year. Um, and our shower was literally black with mould. Black everywhere and it took me and Mike, my housemate, about two hours with a steam cleaner and a scalpel we had to cut out every single bit of like the polyfiller and then put new sealant on because our landlord said he couldn't fix it for a week and we weren't going to not shower for a week. So that was lovely. So that's my experience. Um, it's been quite personal. I feel like we've bonded. I feel like we know each other better. Why don't we grab a coffee sometime or sit in the park and talk about life and look at the clouds. Just an update on my university experience. This semester I've had all coursework modules, so all my courses have been handed in and I have no exams. So it means for the past week and for the next two weeks I have nothing to do. And I cannot tell you how good that feels after the past 15 weeks of work that I've just experienced. However, I am spending it learning computing for a PhD that I'm being considered for. So, God giveth, I suppose. I hope everyone else is going through a wonderful time and if anyone's going through any exams then hope you can, you know, get through them. I'm sure you can, you seem like clever people. That's it from me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful day.